Hello, hello, Tony the Global Healer here. We'll just wait for a few minutes and see if I could see any comments. Um, we'll see if anybody shows up. All right, so my name is Tony the Global Healer and I haven't been on for a while. Um, and I'm going to do a special treat. So this is um, not a typical, um, just readings only. This is a light language clearing. So uh, I'm also gonna do readings also. But I'm gonna start with um, some angelic octave cosmetic, cosmic, I should say cosmic um, light language. Um, let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna start. All right, I'm gonna start with my bowls.
Sikiana Ushanaya Sikiamada. All right, so we're going to do some readings. I want to move some things around here. I wanted to start out with that and see um, how you guys all feel. For coming to online psychics live my name again is Tony the global healer uh, sacred psychic Tony is basically what I go by um, as a healer and angelic um, light language and intuitive readings and healer all right so let's see Jen hi Jen how are you um, let's see so we're gonna go down here hi Sandy Emily all right Jessica, memorize, that's good, all right, all right, so I do have some tools that I do use, um, so please do start asking your questions, and I will tune in to you, and then also um, do some cards for you, all right, all right, so I'm just waiting to see if there's any comments. Um, I also have yes and no as the pendulums here also in love and yeah so let's do it let's ask whoever's here would like to have intuitive readings okay I'm not sure if there's anybody oh, you're doing well I'm doing well so I guess if nobody comments, if they want a reading, I will um, pick somebody. Okay, so I'm going to go with Jessica because she's on the very end. So she wants to know, would look a career reading. All right, so let's see what we have for you for a career. Okay, so this is for Jessica. <clears throat> I just dropped a card, but I can't get it. All right, so, all right. So this is for Jessica. She wants to know what's going on. Um, okay, so. You do that one. All right, so Jessica, this is what I'm getting for you, okay? So I feel like there's some anxiety, some anxiousness with you. Um, I'm doing a scan on you, and I do see some stagnant energies here with some emotional things, and then also the um, stability part of you. Um, you're trying to look past at some things at the same time, um, but you need to be focused, okay? So um, also another thing too is choosing your battles right now. Just being careful and cautious as in like choosing your battles, okay? So I'm also getting like that you just need to breathe as in you need to trust the universe because everything is lining up for this career. Because I'm definitely feeling like the more you put yourself out there and make yourself known, there's doors that are going to be opened up for you, Jessica. Um, for some reason, it just seems like it's like going nowhere um, uh, because perhaps you're looking in the wrong area. Um, maybe you're looking, um, maybe you need to look out of the box, Jessica. So let me see. I'm also going to see how far away it seems to be for me. Um, all right, because I'm getting something that's going to transpire, transform within the end of October because I'm getting leaves as a 
uh, a symbol um, and that usually says like October November uh, and then I'm seeing like something coming up just popping up good news so right now I'm just saying just breathe and trust in the universe and the timing okay um, because I'm also getting to that you need to also speak up to like um, you need to use more of your vocals for some reason because I'm seeing like some stagnant energy there perhaps um, something definitely is going on in that perhaps speaking the truth or just putting your um, actions towards that so because I'm also getting bringing balance so 22 is a master number so 22 is good on oh, it says 12 22 just now I've been on um, so yeah yin and yang to me is giving balance into yourself your stability your home your job and also relationships but at the end of it all I'm getting joy and stability so that means an outcome of joyful effects and you're going to have more stability so Jessica do you have any did that um, resonate with you at all please do let me know Yeah, because I'm definitely feeling like I'm getting symbols of the um, autumn time. So it's between October and November, perhaps the end of November. A lot of things are going to start transpi transpiring for you. Um, but you just need to get out of the box, kind of like uh, don't control it, but just know it's going to happen. Okay. All right. Um it was for Jessica Dow, D-O-W-E. So let me know. All right. So I definitely see that. You have a lot of the tools. You have a lot of capability. And for some reason, I keep on seeing something to do with airplanes or it doesn't really mean that you're traveling or anything like that. But do you have something to do with that kind of work? Um, airplane pilot or not pilot but you know uh, working with that or something so okay Jessica said uh, Jessica Dow I think it is spot on I love it it's absolutely resonates 222 is a great number that shows up for me yeah so 22 is what I got for you so 22 is 4 so 22 means that the that's the master numbers and everything is lined up for for you for this new position this new job again I keep on seeing airplanes paperwork and computers so um, not really sure uh, if that resonates with you but that's what I'm getting okay all right so thank you for letting me read you and if you would like to have more in-depth reading please do not forget I'm available on um, online psychics live all right all right, so let's see. I gotta go up here, you guys, and see. Um, I appreciate your reading. Who um, spirit wants to speak to? Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so I see uh, something to do with a shock. Is it Shia? C H I Y A H. I would love some guidance on my move to California for school please thank you so much all right so let's see what we get i'm gonna get into your energy field hopefully you're still here um but yeah let me see what it says so shia brown i would like to um some love on some guidance on my move to california for school please Okay, so there's a little bit of hesitance on that, so I'm not sure if it's because there's some things blocking it or it's not going as smoothly as you would like to do. Um, it's saying be cautious some, sometimes, it's saying cautious or it's just the, the timing's off at the moment, but um, I definitely see there's something that's kind of like been blocking uh, some energy there, maybe perhaps you're thinking still or you're contemplating something or it's still kind of like where do I go uh, up and down so this is uh, Shia I think it is Shia Brown I don't know how to say your names so forgive me um, but yeah so I definitely got that and let me see when the timing is going to be too 
Yeah, because of, for some reason I'm getting a little bit of worry. Like there's something that you're worried about or there's something that's not quite clear yet. Um, definitely something there that you have to finish before you can do it. So, so there's some caution there and then uh, just getting everything straight. That's what I'm feeling like that. Let me see if I hear anything from her. Okay. Oh, good. So you got the master number 11. So, okay. So it's going to eventually start manifesting for you. It's just some things that you need to take care of before you do that. Another thing too, I don't know if you're thinking of it, but I think, um, uh, is it really California that you're, you're supposed to go to for this school? Because for some reason I get an F and I don't know if that's because of Florida or something like that. But I'm feeling like something to do with Florida. Um, perhaps maybe you need to look in that direction also. Um, because I got a cautious with that other one. So, um, okay, so it's definitely trying to figure out what to do. She said, I feel like I need to be doing something, but I don't know what. Also, I'm very worried about the whole move. Yeah, and I also got a cautious too with that. So, Brown, um, and that maybe perhaps you need to look in that other area. Maybe perhaps it's not the school that you are supposed to go to. Maybe that's why you're getting all this worry and the, and and undecided because I'm getting you know the. It's not like a big yes. It's not a big yes, but. I got that F word and then I seen Florida and I feel like that is the way that you're supposed to sail, sail your boat towards. Uh, so maybe perhaps look into that direction and if everything starts falling into place for that direction, if you can do that, then I feel like that's the, that's where you're supposed to be. I feel like California, I just get like um, some stagnant energy around that, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure why you chose California or if you have to go to California, but uh, I'm thinking that maybe you need to look the other direction. Let me see what she has to say. Oh, okay. Well, sometimes when spirits, when you don't like something, but spirit does, so I know that you're like, I don't like anywhere else. I don't really like our care for Florida, right? So, but it's like, well, you know, it's sometimes spirit directs us in a place that we feel like we don't like, but eventually maybe it might be perhaps for you uh, in the outcome. So, so I'm just putting it out there. You could choose whatever you want, I, but I do feel like there's just a little caution in that. Um, yeah. So, um, let's see. What else do I get for you? I haven't chosen a school yet because I don't know where to go. So that's probably what that confusion or block is. Sure, that's what I'm getting because it's not entirely uh, ready for it. It's not entirely, um, you're, you're thinking of other things. And so that's probably why it's not showing a clear. So you need to get clear uh, and just know that whatever decision you make, it'll be the universe will take care of it and, and let you know and give you signs for it. But again, I also see Florida. So perhaps maybe you're going to go there for something and then come back to California. So there is some Florida in there somewhere. And um, so, yeah, so you definitely need to make a decision. Let's see. Yeah, so what I'm getting is like you really need to meditate on this and get into um, spirit and get downloads and get also they're going to be sending you all kinds of visions, numbers, uh, if you get a song that pops in your head, um, look up the lyrics of that and see what the angels are trying to communicate with you because as soon as you get the, like also make a vision board for this. Um, and then and manifest it, okay? Because right now it's just undecided and there's worry and there's cautious, caution, you know, kind of thing. But so right now is a good time to meditate and listen for sure. Either way you're going to go, but right now it's just kind of up in the air. 
so So yeah, if you would like to have more of a thorough one, one-on-one -on -one so we can connect um, completely, um, please do book a session with me. So after the show, okay? All right, so love and light too. Thank you for letting me read you. Okay, so I'm going to go with Emily. She wants a general reading. Okay, so for some reason with Emily, I'm getting, um, wow, her energy is um, good, amazing. So, um, Emily, you got lots of giftings. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're aware of it or if you're, you're doing anything with it, but I definitely see a lot of angelic around you. All right, something about bringing balance within your situation. Another thing, too, is taking action towards it. So you, you need to lose, uh, you know, leave some negative that's not working with your best interests at this time, a situation. But uh, there's also needing to bring some balance in the situation, but moving forward. So I don't know what it is that's stopping you. This is for Emily. This is a general. Okay. Um, Emily Clark. Oh, I didn't realize there was two Emilys. I'm sorry. So Emily Clark. Let's see if Emily Clark is here still. You have a lot of options, a lot of doors that are open for you, Emily Clark. So, you need to take action and go towards this because a lot of things are starting to open up for you. And I also see something to do with romance. So that could be something that you have passion for, um, your dreams, your passion, um, that you have the keys within yourself as in like an intuitive person, um, empath, but you have the keys. So I'm going to give you a couple of things. When I get the romance card for usually for somebody it's either you're rekindling with a relationship or you are um, going to meet somebody or it's your passion and desires and your dreams for what you want to do for work as in like your giftings or such and such so um let's see so yeah so there's definitely that open so there i give three different things for that but yeah, so you're definitely a very much a spiritual goddess. You need to, you're bringing balance within a situation. You need to take action and there's all kinds of doors open because you have whatever it takes. Um, because you're like at a, at a crossroads right now. So there's a crossroads of decision and bringing balance within that. So I'm seeing like a left or a right with you and you need to make a decision and time to take action within that decision. And then also you need to write up a strategy. You need to write down things for your dreams, your compassion, uh, be it financial or moving. Um, a lot of things that you need to put down on paper, all right, and manifest it and um, get it in order. So bringing balance and getting things in order for this upcoming thing that's coming for you, if that makes sense, Emily Clark. Um, Okay, so I'm just waiting for her to get back to me to see if that makes sense to her. Another thing, too, is that I really feel like you're also a star seed. I don't know if you know anything about star seeds. Um, so I definitely see like you're a star seed. So, um, so yeah, so you definitely bring in some, some light into the situation and taking action towards that. Somebody, somebody or something around you is negative energy. You're, you need to make a decision. You have plenty of doors that are open. You need to write down things as in strategy for um, stability and also um, the door of romance for you. So um, 
intention. So Sandolphin, the Holy Archangel Sandolphin is with you. Um, let's see what she says. Um, she says, I'm very confused in my love life at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of unbalance, a lot of uh, stability that you need to work on, and that is the change right now that I'm probably seeing. So a lot of confusion, and it's time to take action with your decisions so you can bring peace within that situation. Um, yeah. So to basically, you're very intuitive yourself. Um, you need to just go within because you already know the answers within you. Um, so another thing too is that I got the twin flame, twin flame with you too. This is a divine counterpart connection. So with twin flames, it's like when you have um, issues with your twin flame, they come into our life as a reflection, a mere reflection of ourself to work on the mere triggers and shadow sides. So it's not always pleasant being a twin with a twin flame, okay? So the twin flame comes along in your life, and there's several of them, uh, perhaps, but they come to help us heal each other. So as in, like, you heal that person, and you heal yourself, and there's triggers, and um, it's like fire. It's like the twin flame fire, okay? It's a reflection. So definitely if you are with somebody and it's not working out like that you would want to is because there's some inner healing and inner circumstances uh, perhaps some forgiveness um, forgiving yourself and also another will help you move forward so there's perhaps some forgiveness and letting go and also so once we get through all these shadow sides and these trigger works that these twin flames come along into our life um, then we can move on perhaps to meet our soulmates but not to say that um, you you and your twin flame um, actually do get healed together and then decide to be a um, soulmate too. So you could be with a twin flame and a soulmate at the same time, but at the same time it's going through the whole healing process with each other if each other is willing to work on those flaming um, irritating things that we need healing with if that makes sense so yeah so there's definitely something going on within that and then I also feel like there is some negative energy that's still following you from a previous relationship perhaps um, and I'm also for some reason getting a father figure with you so yeah so there's some healing some cords that perhaps you need to get removed from you and some stagnant energy um, so that you're flowing clearly you're flowing clearly okay all right because I'm go I'm also getting some rejection but also this rejection is actually divine protection so it's divine pr protection for rejection so if you feel rejected by this person uh, relationship um, it's also a protection too just to let you know that all right all right, so let's see what she has to say. Okay. All right, so I hope that resonates. Um, again, I'm available for private sessions. Um, please do come and see me so I can get more clearly with you. Uh, and do a matrix scan on you um, just so that I could see what's what's blocking you what's stagnant what you're attracting uh, and what you need to work on and releasing all right all right so this is just a general it's not like a, um, a thorough reading I would like to give a thorough reading but um, it takes more time all right, so love and light to Emily, and I look forward to seeing you again. All right, so there's the other Emily. So since Emily is still, if you feel drawn, I would love any info on future um, significant other. If you could maybe tell me a name, please, and thank you. Hmm. Well, I don't have my chart in front of me, but I usually have a chart that has 
like um, the hair color of the person, um, the date, the birth date, and all that stuff. But I don't have that for my pendulum right now, and that's like more in depth. So if you would like to have that, um, again, I'll be available. But let's see what we get for you, Miss Emily Steele. But uh, I can't get a name for you unless Spirit gives it to me. Okay. So we'll wait and see if Spirit gives it to me instead of the chart. All right, so let's see what we, we can get for you. Uh, uh, okay, so Emily Steele, I just, I feel like you're um, a bit like an introvert, like a little shy. Um, it feels like you're a little comfortable where you are at, and you need to mingle more. You need to get out. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you need to mingle more and go get out. You also have very few that you trust, too, that I'm seeing. There's definitely some stagnant energy there. All right. And also, too, uh, Spirit wants me to tell you to love yourself. To love yourself. And this is for... All right. So I'm doing a relationship, future relationship. Let's see what it has to say for you. Still, Miss Still? All right. Hmm. Okay, so the first thing I got was releasing attachments. So definitely there is some attachments, some cords, maybe reflecting upon how you feel about yourself. So again, it's like forgiving and loving ourselves first and healing up from that situation in order for us to meet this person that's coming um, because I'm feeling like there's some resistance also. Like you're not opening up to a situation or something or opportunity. Your soul is nudging you to move forward in a direction, but in alignment, but it's almost like you're resisting. So again, I'm feeling like uh, self-love, self-healing, because there's some energy there that needs to be completely done before you can move on to this true love. But I definitely got true love for you. So this love is real and true. and. Um, it's going to be healthy um, for you. So after you work on releasing some attachments and the resistance, like not having the resistance, but going within um, to, re to remove things. Um, because I also got true love for you. Oh, okay. So I got new love and true love. New love and true love. So definitely those are in your cards. Definitely coming up. This is a new passionate beginning with a soulmate so you're after you're healing up you don't have to have that twin flame because you're already going through that so this is going to be your soulmate that you're going to meet in the near future another thing too is that I'm getting a D so spirit did say a D so perhaps it may be Donnie or Dan something like that and I'm also getting brown eyes so Spirit definitely wanted to answer that question for you. Usually um, I haven't been getting that so clearly, so I got that. Another thing too is that I don't, I'm getting like the beginning of New Year because I'm seeing fireworks. So I'm definitely seeing something to do with like January perhaps. But that only is up to you, Emily, still, because if you don't activate it and you don't get yourself out there and mingle and meet this person, then it will just be prolonged, okay? So you have to get out of your comfort zone and meet this person, and you'll know uh, when you meet the soulmate, okay? So yeah, so you definitely got true love, new new love coming, and and soul to soul connection. So yeah, so um, Don could be Don, Donnie, um, Dan. So some something with a D and has brown eyes, and seems to be like a very like a tall tall person. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Emily. Any specific time frame of when I will be in a relationship? Yes. So I definitely said that already. I'm sure because there's a delay on this computer or a delay on this live. So definitely was getting like the fireworks, you know. So it's going to be the new year, like in January, sometime in January. But again, it will only happen when you manifest it. It's going to be there. It's just it's you. You need to um, initiate it. You need to do that. So once you do that, then it will go faster. If it doesn't, then it will be prolonged. You know, it will be um, later on. 
so if you want it here in the beginning of January then start proactivating things so that's what spirit says that's what I got for you I hope that resonated with you most definitely um, <clears throat> there's another thing here definitely filling up polling here don't know who's doing that but all right another thing too so if you would like to have a more in-depth reading for like your um for any kind of financials just let me know all right i'll be available for that um emily um it's on um if you look me up on um psychics you know online psychics i'm on there so that it'll tell you the price for an in-depth um, in-depth reading with you afterwards after the show okay all right so I'm gonna move on to the next thank you very much for having your patience with me um, as I can only do so many at a time so fl please forgive me okay all right so I'm gonna go to Okay, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see who. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay, so, um, Ashteen, Ashteen Brook. What was your question? Just a general. Okay, let's do a general for Ashteen Brook. Wow, you, you've been going through so so much change. Let me know if I am um, connected to Ashteen Brook. Definitely see like you are going through a lot of change right now. Definitely a lot of change. All right, so let me move this over here. Ooh, you're definitely a star seed. All right, so there's definitely something that you need to confront within yourself or your shadow side. That's what I'm getting most definitely. You're opening up to a higher level right now. That's why I said that you're a star seed because you also have some astro karmic debris that I'm seeing with that too. And then also some past life things. And I'm also getting soul or generational things going on with you. So maybe perhaps you're going up and down a little bit, but definitely see like your crown chakra your crown portal is opening up right now you're in between um, you definitely have a lot of spiritual activity around you that's for sure you're definitely going to be opening up to a higher level and also number nine for me is giving birth you're giving birth to a new thing be it um, financial and also spiritual so you're awakening to a higher cause and also awakening to yourself and to finding your whole self and your whole reality. So number nine, giving birth, you're standing up tall, you are opening up. I definitely see a lot of opening um, for you. Where, where is, um, is that person still here? Is Ashton Ashton still here? All right, so yeah, so Ashton is going through a lot. So number nine, too, you're giving birth to that, too, confronting yourself or confronting something that you need working on, as in that inner child that's been away, uh, needing to work on some inner child work, perhaps. Um, some trigger some shadow side but definitely see a lot of uh, emotions around this but I definitely see seven too with you but so you got nine giving birth to and coming out of that healing from that also the crown area you're opening up to a higher level a higher dimension and opening up big time in that you're giving birth and well you're getting going to be rewarded for this so I'm definitely seeing that for you um, wow, yeah, and also something to do with expressing yourself, changing that, 
being being more open with yourself creativity um, you're going through change within that and you're a leader a teacher so you're a very very much a star seed galactic plead um, that's moving into a higher level and direction it's just uh, also going through some detox some spiritual detox all right so this is Ashton Brooke this is for you this is what I got for you so I hopefully you didn't miss it because I didn't see you um, there's a lot of contemplation a lot of thinking on your your part a lot of change so go with it and work on those things that I said um, but yeah evolution my god you got the evolution card too so yeah you're plead you're definitely a pleading in evolution going through quite a bit of change and um, not really sure how to deal with this energy perhaps but you're going through it you're gonna get through it um, all right All right, so I'm going to go next. I'm sorry again. I hope that uh, resonated with you. And let me go up here. Um, Miss Karen. Um, I draw online to see if there is anything for me lately. Nobody's giving me anything. <laughs> okay, Karen, are you there? All right, so Karen, this Karen, hi Karen, come forward. All right, so Karen, let's see where you are. Okay. All right, Karen, let's see. So you just want a general. So Karen, you know the thing is I'm picking up with you is that you seem to be very intuitive also. Um, undeciding things, undecision. A lot of undecision. So let's see what else I'm getting with you. All right, so I got some past uh, stagnant energies with you, emotional. Um, seems like there's been a lot of... Uh, Perhaps there's some loss or something, but I definitely feel like your heart area uh, accidentally pushed my screen down. So let's see. <laughs> All right. All right. So Karen. All right. Changing some focus in your life. So I see like you're going through a bit of a change also. So there's definitely some solar plex activity with you. I'm definitely seeing the solar plex needs to open up more. There's some, perhaps maybe some self-doubt going on, but there's also a lot of creativity. You're a very um, gifted person also. I'm not sure if you are um, in tune to your own intuitiveness or um, using your giftings, but I definitely see like you're going to start a new chapter in your life. So you, that's, this is why you're going through some change and perhaps changing for a um, um, a new focus in your life and working on the spiritual side of yourself opening up to your giftings creativity maybe perhaps you put something away that you need to bring back in um, so let's see I just want to see if there's anything okay I don't see anything all right so another thing too is moving on so moving on to a different situation maybe you're perhaps moving are moving into a new direction so I got the changing your focus also and then also moving on so and dealing with your solar there's a lot of solar plex activity going on with you awakening all right and let's see what we got for you so I don't usually read from these cards um, this is just uh, to see what the the, the angels want to say all right <laughs> so you got ecstasy um, definitely got some ecstasy there so uh, yep there's some good stuff coming for you You're going through a lot of change so lots and lots of change let me see what she said she's saying anything 
So ecstasy to me is like utopia. So you're you, you're opening up. You need to to lean into your giftings, but not resisting your giftings. You need to get out there. You need to express yourself. You've been putting things on the bookshelf or whatever. I'm just kind of ignoring it. But things around you, you, you need to speak up. You most definitely need to speak up. Why's my phone going off? Um, and moving on from whatever's not serving you anymore, changing your focus, moving into your creativity, your intuitiveness, your healing abilities, your um, channeling artwork perhaps, but there's a lot of stuff um, that is in the works for you and you just need to lean into it and not have self-doubt about that. All right, so leaning into your compassion, your love, your dreams, um, because it's all manifesting and also balancing things out too at this time but yeah so taking those things back in which are yours and manifesting it because this is a good time for you to do that so you need to jump forward and get out of your comfort zone again um, and move forward into what you are here for as in the divine also another thing too is you are another uh, plea perhaps I'm, I'm getting that too like the Vega um, getting Vega around you so you definitely have um, a lot of the galactic side with you too that you need to awaken and perhaps lean into also and to lean into that planetary but I'm definitely getting Vega with you all right so leaning into your stuff reopening your dreams your compassion and, and your giftings all right, so let's see what I have to get for you. Um, oh, okay, so she says, I am a reader as well, but you are the first one to pick that up. I've seen many, nobody picked it up. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. You need to move within that, definitely. You need to move within that. All right. All right, so there's a lot. Okay, so let me go up here and see where we're at. We're almost out of time. You're welcome, beautiful Karen. Thank you for letting me read you. Okay, she says, thank you. It is refreshing to hear. I have felt drawn to that. Yes, so you need to just pick it up and just have more confidence within yourself, okay? All right, let's see. There was somebody else. Okay, so uh, Rachel said that she's been watching from the star. Okay, so I'm going to go with Rachel, and she just wants a general. All right, so I'm just going to scan you. Okay, so Rachel... Um, I'm getting like you're looking to the left a lot. So to me, that's telling me that you're looking, to, to, you know, a lot to your past. Like maybe perhaps some regrets that you have or is there something there for regrets um, that you're having uh, and that you keep on looking back or there's something that needs to be um, healed up from the past. There's definitely a lot of reflection on to looking into the past. Um, Karen, you can, I don't know where you can leave a review, I'm sorry, uh, but you can come and see me on, um, on their, on Online Psychics Live. Alright, so Rachel, that's what I'm getting for you right now. I'm just seeing like you're looking way to the past. And you're contemplating and you feel like you're stuck perhaps you feel like you're not going anywhere nothing's happening and that you regret something or there's something that you need to let go of from the um, from the past so well, let me see what else also I just also see some new emotional things too that's there it's fairly fresh as in like your your portal your heart portal uh, another thing too is that I'm getting something to do with my neck and then I'm also getting a boy I don't know like a 10 year old or a 12 year old somebody that's also um, connected to you that I'm getting picking up all 
Okay, so Rachel, let's let's see what the cards say now because I was doing, um, yeah, so I definitely see a boy or a child with you. I see some new, um, you know, emotions coming up. Uh, see, that needs to be dealt with or worked on. Just releasing it. Um, Definitely getting something to do with your neck, too, and your back, your lower back. Um, let's see what else I'm getting. All right. Yeah. So there is some, it just feels like you've been kind of like locked up. And, of course, everybody's been locked up at this time. But just know that everything's going to start flowing. I got a number 10 with you. Number 10 is number one. New beginnings is starting for you. A new chapter in your life. Perhaps you're coming out of some karma and now you're going into your dharma. Um, but you're going to be moving forward. You need to take the lead within this, all right? Having confidence and support around you, but taking the lead as you are a leader and you need to rise up out of this uh, black night of the soul, perhaps, that you're going through. But I definitely see also that you are a seer. So um, I don't know if you know, but perhaps a mediumship, but I'm definitely getting the third eye chakra with you uh, working on those areas, all right? Um, and then flowing within yourself. So everything's going to start flowing. You just have to have, a, <laughs> I got third eye and then crown with you. So moving up to the utopia. Opening up more. You need to open up more. Yep. Yep. So yep, I just definitely get a lot of good things with you. So let's see what she says. Okay, all right, so she said spot on, um, and then I have neck issues, yeah. So I'm just getting a lot of neck issues, and that has a lot to do with memory self, a lot of stress, anxiety, um, uh, and another thing too, uh, cell memory from if you were ever in an accident or something like that, but uh, there's definitely some, a little bit of some cords there too. So... Yeah, so just know that the outcome is good. You just need to rise up and open up. Um, mediumship, perhaps, I don't know if you have that, uh, if you know that you have that, but it's opening up. So just flowing with yourself and knowing that you're going to be starting a new chapter in your life uh, and you're coming out of where you have been for a while, okay? So that's what I'm getting right now for you. And if you would like, again, if anybody would like, to have a private session with me um, for a more in-depth where I can hear you or you know one-on-one -on -one connection stronger um, I'm available on um, psychics uh, you know online psychics live so just look me up as Tony as Tony the global healer and I'll be here for you and please do forgive me if I didn't get to everybody and I uh, and again please like and subscribe and um, share out if you can so that you know me come on one of us will be on or just look for when I come back on again but I also again I would like to have more of a thorough connection with you okay let's see what she says I wasn't an accident okay wow so yeah so I definitely seen a, a car accident with you Rachel and um, and the cell memory of that now if you if you know anything about cell memory is that uh, if you got an accident um, years ago or whatever, uh, it seems like around that time every year it starts to act up a lot more also and memories of that. So it's stored in there. Um, and I always like to work with my clients is in removing the, the cell memories and the cords and et cetera, et cetera, so that they don't have that to relive as in pain. Um, another thing too is they call that like NLP or something like that with hypnosis, but I don't really do the hypnotherapy. I just do the, the matrix um, holographic 5D healing. So yeah, so I do that and I remove stagnant energies, remove cords. And then also another thing too is like if we find out when we do a scan on you, uh, something in your previous life that you brought over in this life, and you don't know why all of a sudden you have anxiety or stress or whatever's going on or if there's we find out the root issues so it's like an onion um and it's like a cell memory in this life also so we we deal with a lot of matrix scanning and intuitive reading and then um, removing things that no longer serve you so that you can move on and to this life in the next life if you want to that's up to you 
Okay. Um, I hope that helps you. Love and light to you. Many blessings. And I got a t couple more minutes. And um, let's see. Okay. Um, Jessica, yes, uh, I do a lot of that. Actually, I do a lot of energy clearing, uh, reformatting, and etc. etc. Et so. Um, I multifaceted, I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have I have one or two more minutes. Washington State, Stephanie. That's where my hometown is in Washington. All right. So yeah, I don't have. So again, thank you again for joining me and love and light to you guys. Thank you for joining. And again, I am available right after here, or you can schedule an appointment. Um, let's do the bowl. to also see me I'm available on online psychics live uh, I'll be on here in a few minutes just um, call me and we'll have a more in-depth reading clearing healing etc whatever you choose to have and um, again just look out for me when I come back on or whoever else comes on um, we have a lot of good advisors okay Again, I'm very, very sorry that I wasn't able to get to everybody. Thank you for coming and supporting. And um, again, just many blessings and love and manifestations of um, jobs and financial blessings and love. Okay. All right. So. Thank you. You were really spot on. You're very welcome, Rachel. All right. Love and light to you guys. Many blessings. See you soon.